Good afternoon. It's going to be an extremely warm day today. And when I took the dogs out, I heard this noise back here behind me. This is a hawthorn tree. I will turn this around and add to see, to show you why. It's massive. It's probably about 50 feet tall, about 40 feet wide. Came with the house. I didn't plant it. Because trust me, I would not be planting this thing. If you can imagine smelling a combination of the men's gym locker at high school and a teenage boy's laundry basket in his room that hasn't been washed for a couple weeks, it's kind of like that. It's really stinky. Uh, mixed with the smell of a bunch of privet that's growing around. Oh, close to nauseating, but let me show you why. These blooms, every single one of these blooms are going to be Look at that. Pollen pockets, nectar, everything. These girls are going to town on these flowers. Last year they did not, so I have no idea if these are one of the swarms that I caught or if they're one of the nukes that have decided, hey, guess what? These are going to be great additions to our hive. They're everywhere. I mean, it literally sounds like I have a beehive behind me. And as you can see, they have... Focus. The worst. Focus on my hand. Thorns. Right there. All over this tree. Look at that girl just having a good time right there. Ah, come on, focus. They're everywhere, everywhere. And if you hear sirens in the background, I don't know if the microphone from my phone is picking it up. It's the cicadas. And they're getting louder and louder and louder. Sometime today I'll go down to the uh, lake and see if I can record some. See, there's a bunch of blooms that haven't even bloomed yet. So this tree's gonna be viable for these guys for a little bit. But they're everywhere. They're flying everywhere. It's not bothering me. Oh. Chicken just got a cicada. Oh. Well, I should say the rooster. And she wants her half. God, I love chickens. <coughs> He's been picking them out of every tree, every bush. He knows where to go. That's why he's fat. All right, to beekeeping I go.